Hi guys, Shashank here from shashankgupta.net. Welcome to Black Bulk Mail Tutorial. What is Black Bulk Mail? It is the smartest mailer on the earth. Yes, if you are planning to run an email marketing campaign, you can use this software. This is one of my favorite email marketing software. Why? Because I can send emails using Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook and AOL and another reason why I like this tool because it uses webmail it doesn't use SMTP server to send mails so in this video later on I will show you how this particular tool will log in in your Yahoo mail account and it will click on compose and it will compose the whole email and send on your behalf also why I like this tool because you can create your own sending template to send emails what I mean by this is that if you have any other email ID which you want to use to send email apart from Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, AOL or Outlook you can create a program using Bot Chief Editor and run it into this software like if I want to send emails using Rediff Mail I can create a template and I can start using Rediff Mail to send e emails so now let's see what we will learn in this video in this video of we will learn how to set tasks to send emails, how to add email accounts, how to create email templates, proxy and other settings, open amount and other reports once we complete the sending, add yourself sending templates. Let's move to black bulk mail software and implement the same. You can see this is the interface of black bulk mail. Here you get couple of options task account template settings and so on we will be creating a task but before that we need to add accounts so first in accounts we will give a category name say yahoo as i'll be using yahoo emails in this i'll create a category called yahoo now i can import by putting your email account and password here and add it or if i have a list of email id and password I can import it using import function as I use uh, Yahoo email into other programs also so I need to import them with proxies otherwise my account will get banned hence I have kept in a format of email password and proxy so for that purpose you need to have your email ID password your proxy proxy username and password this is the format in which you can import your Yahoo email IDs into this program so now we have added a category called Yahoo and we will import accounts into it I have accounts in a txt file which I will import here so I will click on import accounts and Yahoo as you can see my uh, Yahoo accounts password and proxies have been imported so this is how you will import your accounts Yahoo accounts for sending mails now we will move and create a template for creating a template first give a name to it I have given a name called doctors now here you can create a txt template text file or you can create a html template I will create a html template I will click on html now here you can even add image in your emailer I have already written an email so I am going to send this email to all the doctors telling them that I have introduced a patient management software recently and I am offering a one month free trial of it so they can avail the benefit by signing up through this link so I will copy paste this email here now I want to add the logo at the end so you, you can add an image as well how you can do that you can upload it on your server or you can go to a site called tinypic.com and choose a file I'll upload this it's an image and I'll click on upload now now it will ask me to fill a captcha so 
so I have filled the captcha now it is uploading the image so this is the HTML for website this is the code which I need to copy and put it in my mailer so just don't paste like this go in source code and paste it here so this is how you will get the uh, image also inserted and your email you can save this by clicking save template yes we have forgotten to put a subject so I'll write the subject patient management software and I will save this now we will check couple of settings and then we are ready to send this mail now let's check the settings you can import proxies here by and enable the proxy and import your proxies and bind your proxies with your account as I have already bind my proxies with accounts that's why I am not adding and enabling proxy here but you can do it now the other settings you can need to put capture settings in case Yahoo email ask for capture the program will fill it you have manual plus that by capture you can put that this is a folder where this program will save catch file so you need to make sure that you clear it time to time because this takes a lot of disk space so when you are running this program you can come after some time and check if it is taking space you can clear this this is a debug mode if you want to see this program running how it is logging in your Yahoo account and clicking on compose and filling up the data sending the mail you can click it if you do not want to see that you can unclick it I want to see and I want to show you how this program works since I will click on this now let's go and run the task as we have our accounts and templates ready so I will create a task I need to click on this I'll give a name patient management software I'll use Yahoo email IDs and the template called doctors now I need a list of doc email IDs to whom I need to send this email so I will load email IDs I have already scraped these email IDs so I'll use these email IDs using txt file doctors and import so as you can see we have 30 email IDs imported here I'll click on next now in this setting you want to send it using to CC or BCC so you can choose that I'll send it to how many emails you send with one login at one login you want to send how many emails so if you want to send it to two people you, you can make it two if you want to send it to five people you can make it five right now I will keep it one wait time between two send you can keep the time at least five seconds so one mail is sent after five seconds it will start sending another mail if you are not using proxies you can do that if you are using proxies you can leave it to one send threads amount how many threads you want to run if you are using more proxies you can increase this right now for showing purpose I will use one proxy enable seed email so what this particular option means that you can put your email ID after this programs complete sending 100 email it will send you a email confirming that this program has already sent 100 emails loop to send until all mails are sent and enable open mail statistics if you want to enable all these options you can to get more data I do not want to do that hence I will not click on it I will let this last option enable and finish it the task is ready and we will start this by clicking on run task sending all now a window will pop up and you will see how this program will login in your Yahoo email account 
and will compose a mail and send it. It has logged in in Yahoo email. I'd be click on compose. will put subject and the data as you can see everything has come and now it, it is sending mail sent you can see your message has been sent message so this is why I like this software it is logging into your webmail and sending the mail it is not using SMTP so the success is more Now it is going to send another mail using a different email ID. Now you can see here, you can see in the task log that visiting page, login successful, sending, send successful and now it is using another email ID and sending it. I will minimize this so that you can see it. I personally used this software and I really liked it and I decided to create a video tutorial for this so that you all can use this wonderful tool. It is putting a email ID, subject line, again matter and sending it. Now it will log out from this account and it will log in in another account so as you can see send successful send successful so far it has used two accounts and it was successful now I will pause this video till this completes couple of email and I'll come back once it is done to show you the results okay I'm back and the program is still running I, I'll sh show you a quick task log so far it has completed 16 activities in that all was successful send successful send successful now I have included one of my emails into this and I'll just show you whether I have received the email or not so I'll just logged in into account and you can see that this is a email ID which I had used to send in the task log the second email using this particular account and we have received this email so this is how we can use this particular software for our email marketing needs I'll share the links from where you can purchase this and you will also get a 20% discount on this and if you have any issues running this you can contact me so now I'll pause this video and I'll share other details into this now we have completed uh, we have sent five emails so far five 25 are left now let's see the open data now we have clicked it and we will refresh this and see if how many people have opened this our emails so out of five one email has been opened so you will get all uh, data regarding the sending uh, at an open amount how many people received this email and out of them how many opened this this is all data you will be getting here now next is add yourself sending template now at present it supports 
Outlook, Yahoo, AOL, Gmail. You can add your custom use like I am adding Rediff Mail. Same you can also add your own using Bot Chief Editor. It is not so difficult. Once you learn Bot Chief Editor, you can easily add to your template and that would give you more success in your email marketing campaign. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will soon share the link where from where you can buy this software. If you have any question leave them in below comment box and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be uploading lot of videos regarding uh, marketing tools. See you in the next video. Thank you.